Hey, what's going on? This is Nick LS. And today we're going to be talking about the number one problem while riding a motorcycle. In my opinion, the number one problem is as simple as other people on the road. I'm not saying that everyone out there is a bad driver. Actually, I think most people are, are good drivers. However, there are bad drivers out there. You can be as good as a motorcycle rider as you can be, and still something can happen that's out of your control because of the actions of another person. Riding a motorcycle has made me even a better driver because I am so much more aware of my surroundings. Um, just noticing other people and really paying attention and what I've been noticing is there are so many people on their phones it's ridiculous you know taking calls looking down not paying attention so the phone definitely plays a huge role in distractions um, just for instance yesterday when I was at a red light I was in my car um, but I noticed that the driver behind me was coming to a stop was not even looking forward was looking down at their phone and uh you know i just kept that you know in the back of my mind okay maybe this person might not stop because they're not paying attention uh, i definitely think that phones are by far the largest distraction however uh you also have to watch out for people under the influence i know in my msf course the basic rider course we had to watch a short video of just several different people who were actually riding a motorcycle and got hit um, by truck drivers. So there is that you have to watch out for too. Another point I would like to bring up too is just inexperienced drivers. I know that in the United States, um, when COVID hit, they allowed brand new drivers, to, um, you know, age 16, to just have their parents sign a waiver that they could get their license and they did not need to take any sort of test to get their license. So just, you know, not, not a big, definitely not the biggest piece of the uh, equation there but um, a lot of inexperienced people out there on the road you have to be watching out for people who may not know all the rules of the road right of way all that kind of stuff so yeah that's another piece that plays into it another thing regarding other drivers are some people just don't like motorcycles on the road i i don't know for what reason um, but a lot of people don't give motorcycles the amount of room they need or um, I've even had people deliberately cut me off on my motorcycle so just um, I guess people being more uh, driving more aggressive uh, towards motorcycle riders it also seems like more people want to race you uh, at the at the stoplights too you'll have a lot more cars try and rev at you I don't know if they're trying to get me to rev or whatnot but a lot of people want to seem to race me on my bike we just got done talking about why other people might be the problem, and let's talk about now why the motorcycle might be the issue. Motorcycles are a whole lot smaller than other vehicles, including like cars, SUVs, trucks, so they can be harder to spot on the road. Um, not everybody's looking for motorcycles. Uh, they're, they're more so looking for those bigger vehicles, like I had mentioned. Uh, another great point that they brought up in the MSF course is even if you're looking right at the person, uh, the other driver, and it looks like they're looking right back at you, never assume that they actually are. Um, never take that for granted. Um, if you are ever in a situation where it looks like they might go and impede your path of travel, even if they're looking right at you, it's always a good move to go ahead and cover your clutch and slow down just to avoid any sort of crashes. Another instance where someone might be looking right at you but not see you is when coming to a stop at a red light, um, their eyes could be fixated at a higher level and be seeing you know, the vehicle that's actually in front of you and not you. So something that I always do is I'm always looking in my rear view mirror, the, uh, the side mirrors, I'm always looking at those at red lights just to see if there's anybody who's going to be approaching me. Um, personally, I always keep my bike in first gear uh, with the clutch held in just in case I need to make a quick maneuver out of the way for someone coming in a little too hot. Um, another thing 
that you can do to help be seen is it's legal in my state at least um, day and night is to always ride with the high beams on that's going to give other people um, a lot more visual awareness that you are indeed there so to wrap up kind of the motorcycles problem itself is it's just generally hard to spot on the road and it ultimately should be up um, to other people other drivers to see you as well but just always uh, be alert out there and make sure you're watching out for other drivers so let's talk about some things you can do on your motorcycle that will help other drivers around you be more aware that you're there motorcycles are loud for a reason and that's to compensate them not being seen visually because they're smaller on the road so something you can do is, I mean, especially with the Ninja 400, the stock exhaust is kind of quiet. You can go ahead and you can upgrade your exhaust to a louder one. I personally have the Leo Vince LV10 slip-on. I believe that loud pipes do save lives, and I know a lot of people like to argue that, but I actually see people looking at me. It doesn't matter where they are on the road. You know, if I go ahead and accelerate and hear my exhaust start to scream people from the left right forward back you know even walking on the sidewalk that you know way in front of me because people say that the it's like a cone and you can't hear anything from the front that's not true that is not true at all everyone can hear you because <laughs> i mean the motorcycle is loud it's a loud noise and it's going to help people know where you are and that you're there another thing that you can do is wear bright colored clothes on the road um, like for me personally I like to wear all white I have a white jacket I have a white bike white gloves white helmet I am visible um, versus someone who might be in all darker colors especially at night if you're in all dark colors at night you're gonna be kind of hard to see um, but just wearing those brighter even fluorescent colors too um, I've even seen people ride with like construction worker vests on just something that's going to kind of catch someone's eye on the road uh, wearing brighter colors and also just circling back to something i briefly talked about was just riding with the high beams always on uh, that's going to help people look at a brighter light and see you you know have a better visual on you um, it's best to check where you live um, your laws on having the high beams on but like I said um, in my state it is legal to ride with high beams on at all times the number one thing you can do though is be a safe and responsible rider that means doing things like avoiding splitting lanes through traffic you know doing tricks on the bike doing wheelies um, going ridiculous speeds uh, just avoiding all of those that could be kind of dangerous and just be the most safe rider you can be because that's what I ultimately strive to be um, and I highly encourage that everyone else try and be as safe as they can. We want to keep both wheels on the ground and continue to ride for the rest of our lives. And I'm more so talking about just riding on public roads. Um, you know, if you want to do a wheelie in your own driveway, that's totally cool with me. I think that's awesome. And that'll do it. The goal of this video is just to make you aware that you can be a fantastic rider, but things outside of your control could happen. So if you learned anything or enjoyed any part of this video, please hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.